So welcome back to this year's Pixel Festival. Uh, I was going to say code name III, but the, the name of the festival is III, AI, AI, AI. And now we've got Karen Bowen with us. Uh, did I pronounce the, your last name correctly? Bowen? Yes, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the, the, as good as it's going to get for a British person to pronounce the uh, <laughs> noise, to be yeah, honest. Sorry. <laughs> and you're here to talk about memory mechanics. Yeah, that's right. And that's the project you've submitted. So tell us a bit about this project for this year's festival. Yeah, and it's a, a project that uh, was born from like a matchmaking. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, between performing arts and um, uh, artists working with artificial intelligence. That was the starting point. And we, tr we quite soon figured we had um, a meeting point because um, with my collaborator, Lise, I had been working with um, uh, body positions and finding memories from the body. And the group of uh, researchers um, that we were um, put together with, uh, Mats Höbi, Maya Rab, uh, Rantenberg, no, let's wait, Farga Berg, Ranten, and Truls Andreasen, they were working with a program that was reading bodies and, and uh, body positions. So we quite soon like found a common uh, interest, like how, how does the body remember and how does the machine remember or the... AI or whatnot, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we tried. I don't know how if I should say everything, but we tried different approaches to it. Uh, also making a performance, but in the end, we figured it was more interesting for us where the audience can feel the interact uh, interactive element of this um, this project that you you actually understand better with your own body that uh, that you are in uh, a dialogue with the, the program. If you see it as a performance, it's uh, it's very different. Yeah, cool. Um, that's, yeah, something about yeah. it. <laughs> How long has this project taken in development as a collaboration? Uh, a while. Um, it was in 2019 that we in initially met, first meeting. Uh, this was in Denmark. And it was initiated by um, different organizations. And one of them was Click Festival. And we were supposed to do a, a presentation during this big festival in Helsingør in the spring of 2020. Um, and then when everything was... Um, uh, not happening in 2020, we uh, had uh, a prototype on this RS Electronica. So it was an online festival. Mm -hmm. or yeah. um, And then the first live presentation was uh, a year ago, a little bit over a year ago in Denmark. Um, and also in Romania because it was picked up from this Ars Electronica by someone in Romania. So uh, that's been like, and then every time we kind of developed a little bit more and figured out um, what it should be by testing it with the audience. Mm -hmm. And how has it been to collaborate? I mean, do you usually work in a collaboration uh, with your work or do you uh, work prefer to work alone or as part of a team? Uh, definitely collaboratively, which is, um, of course, quite like uh, the essence of performing arts. Um, but I've also worked quite a lot with people from other disciplines, also working with technology before, um, which I find like yeah, very interesting because it's very, very different uh, ways of working. Um, yeah. Like, uh, and this collaboration has been quite smooth and, and easy. Things have been working and, and I mean, it's been uh, challenges more with uh, cancellations and stuff, but um, it's, it, with the technology, it feels like it has to either work or not work a lot of the time, whereas with 
when you work with performance and your body is like, this is where we are now. And so something goes wrong. It's no one will know kind of, and with technology, it seems a little bit more like um, either or, but also maybe not. <laughs> Cool. And with this uh, project now, do you, are you going to develop it further within the next 12 months or are you going in a new direction or what's next for you? Um, we really wanted to bring it to Bergen because we have been, as I said, presented it in Denmark where the other collaboration, uh, collaborators uh, are based. Uh, so I, it feels like this was an important goal for us that I could also bring this project to my hometown. Mm -hmm. um, and it was always like a, a laboratory or exploratory project. And we feel like, as I said, every time it's a little bit developing, uh, but we don't now have concrete plans. Uh, I think it's important that then there is a a reason or something new that we can find out. Um, uh, that's how we feel now. Uh, and so maybe this is the last uh, iteration, but uh, you never know like what we might find out when we have uh, quite a bit of time at Pixel. Um, so we might find a new curiosity that would have to be, I think, the, the reason to go even further with it. Thank you very much, Karen. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you at the festival. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, move around yes. a bit more so we can do some dancing. <laughs> yes, come and move around in the installation. Yeah. yeah, so lovely to meet you. And yeah, see you at the festival. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, Take care. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.